Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in gorgeous Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today it's my pleasure to tell you all about the 2017 Thor Challenger 37 KT. This particular model is in the all new exterior, which is the Riverside paint. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm real excited to go ahead and start on the front. We'll make our way around and then head on in. So the Thor Challenger sits on the Ford F53 chassis. It boasts the uh, Ford V10 Triton engine. Now in the 2017, it does have slightly decreased horsepower, but it has equivalent torque and more importantly, greatly increased drivability on the highway due to this six speed Allison transmission. You will truly enjoy it, has lower RPMs when you're at the higher speeds, so it's not gonna roar at you as you're going down the highway. Uh, right on the front here, it does have a bug guard, which of course you can't see that rock guard there. It's nice and clear. The LED lights right here for accents as well. Of course, if you take a look at the windshield, one large automotive bonded windshield doesn't have the H gasket like your old Class A's. Uh, so absolutely gorgeous, big window right up front. Coming around to the side here are the mirrors, of course, bi-directional mirrors, as well as the side view cameras. That gives you complete visibility. Uh, that way you can check all your blind spots, make sure that you are safe to merge over. 22 and a half inch tires on the Challenger, both front and back. That way, again, you will get superior ride quality. Uh, let's take a look up top here. As you can see the power awnings. You have two power awnings on this coach. One which goes over the slide here. The second one is actually on the slide in the back. So when those awnings are out, you have awning coverage over the entire side of your coach, which is phenomenal. Really allows you to set up camp anywhere you want. But one of the best spots to put the chairs at, in my opinion, is right here in front of your entertainment center. You can see right there, you have two Jensen outside marine grade quality speakers open that up and then there is your TV. So that way you can sit out here, watch the game, whatever you want. Uh, and as I said, that way you're underneath the awning and getting covered by the shade. Let's head on underneath here, take a look at the pass-through storage. So I'll open these two doors up. As you can see, you have huge storage there. And not only do you have the large bins right there, but as I mentioned, you do have pass-through up top. The reason for that is the Challenger uses a 13-inch I-beam instead of the standard seven, giving you that extra space up top for larger items. Also what they do as far as construction, uh, when they are building the, the bridge on here, when they're building the home itself, from the front left corner to the back right or vice versa as it's going across, that has a tolerance of .008 of an inch. That is incredible, being that tight, making sure that when you're going down the road, everything is nice and flat and they don't build it with any kind of torque already in it. Also on top of those I-beams, they have neoprene. Now, that may not sound like a big deal, but what that does, it helps take a lot of that vibration out as you're going down the road. So Challenger really goes above and beyond from a construction standpoint. They do a lot of great things. You'll continue to see that as we go around the coach. But as I did mention, great storage right in there. Uh, coming back a little bit further, this one is a mid-entry coach. So this, of course, is where you would enter in. Two steps here, they are power steps. And then, uh, of course, you have a window there so you're able to see out in case you have people that come to the door. And then you would go ahead and enter right on in. But we'll get to, uh, get to that a little bit later. Right here, you have two plugins. So if you do want to plug anything in, whether it's electric griddle or blender, want to set up a table out here, again, you have that awning coverage. You can go ahead and do that too. Open this guy up. You can see there's a little bit of extra storage as well as some valves. Open this up here, propane tank, pretty self-explanatory there. As I mentioned, 22 and a half inch tires right here in the back. Go ahead and open this guy up. 100 gallon fresh water tank. So huge fresh water tank, which is great. Uh, this panel right here does cover up all of your sensors. So that way you, you won't get a false read. You don't have to worry about any you know, kind of water beating it up. And if you do ever have to replace these, it's nice and easy. You can just take the panel off and replace the sensor. Much easier than having to go inside the tank. Also, because it is such a large tank, right here's a one inch dump valve. So it's not just gonna trickle out. You can open that up and really uh, have that water empty out and quite a hurry. Right down here, if you can see this on film, uh, this is a, a little safety hook. So a D-ring right there. So if you need to you know, chain up a bike or a grill or whatever you don't want walking away in the middle of the night, you can go ahead and do that right there. Open this guy up. Again, you have extra storage right here. 
and one more time you can see the pass through additional storage there. Now one other thing I like to talk about on the Challenger, if we take a look at the sidewall here, so as I mentioned, this is the Riverside paint, you know, it's a great paint scheme, and it's a great paint. They, uh, the Challenger uses Sickens paint on here, which if you're not familiar with Sickens paint, it is one of the best in the industry. They use it a lot in your higher end sports cars. The reason is, the Sickens paint never truly cures. So even though, you know, it feels nice and dry to the touch, uh, because, uh, because it never truly cures, it allows for the bend you know no matter what when you're going down the road you're gonna have some torque in the coach there's just no avoiding it that's why they use it on the sports cars the same reason so because of that you won't get any kind of spider cracks or anything up top near the roof line that's a big deal top of the line paint right there the other thing I like about it if you take a look at the windows right here those are frameless windows a couple big advantages to frameless windows one they're a lot more aesthetically pleasing two you can keep these open while it rains because the way they they open up the action it's going to tilt open like this so you can get a nice cross breeze coming through here during the rain you don't have to you know worry about it getting stifling during that time lastly the gasket hides underneath this tinted glass which will help prolong the life of that window as well to ensure the seal isn't going to go bad on you let's come around to the back side of the coach here couple quick things to talk about one of course is you have the ladder right here this is mounted on the beautiful rear cap uh, you know that rear cap gives it a nice complete look the ladder here is great that way you can get up top if you have to do any kind of maintenance clean off the roof before you leave you can do that as well and that way you don't have to bring one with you it just makes it a lot simpler and easier also rear picture window right there in the bedroom so if you can back up and you have a beautiful view you can enjoy that first thing in the morning above that is the backup camera of course that way you can see when you're backing up making sure you're not going to hit anything let's take a look down here this is something you don't see very often that Challenger does they put the fuel fill on the back this again is a huge advantage instead of having to fight you know one side or the other and I don't know if you've driven a big class A before but if you haven't it can be a fight at the gas station you know you'll pull in you have to fill up on the left and you know all the spots are taken you can only pull in on the right so you kind of have to try to jog around or wait for one to open up by having it on the back it doesn't matter you can pull up fill up from either side so that has a, a big advantage right there last but not least right here you have your hitch that's an 8,000 pound hitch so if you do need to tow another vehicle or trailer you can easily do that now that being said if you're fully loading up this coach with everything I don't recommend towing 8,000 pounds all right just doesn't have the capacity to do it so if you do plan on towing something that heavy make sure you lighten it up a little bit inside and you won't have any issues let's go ahead and come around to the off door side here so once again I'll open up some compartments for you so you can take a look same thing right here you can see the nice big pass-through going overhead before we move on I like to show this as well this is your Atwood water heater notice how they went ahead and put the full paint on here and it's recessed a lot of manufacturers don't do that either it'll sit out you know it'll just be a black panel but again Challenger goes above and beyond making sure you have a great looking coach Go ahead and take a look right here, open it up. You can see your uh, power as well as the relay switch right there. This of course is your connection station where you're gonna hook everything up. Uh, whole house filter right here so sewer tank flush valve this is really cool too so if you're not familiar with the black tank flush what this does is instead of having to drag a hose inside and putting it down the toilet to wash out your black tank all you have to do is take that same hose you'll actually run it up right through here this unscrews connect it right there and that way uh, the black tank has sprayers built in and it will just go ahead and wash it out for you uh, this is a really quick way to go ahead and winterize the coach outside shower right here if you take a look underneath this is nice too so challenger does a lot of things as far as uh, making sure maintenance is nice and easy for you and this is one of them this is your water pump so uh, this is one of the things you know tend to burn up or go bad and if you need to replace it or have it fixed it's really easy to access it right there then of course this is your dump valve has your black and gray dumps on here um, this is really neat too if you see what I'm doing this actually turns up and down so the cool thing about this is when you know you go to hook up you can have it up like this go ahead and connect your hose in here and then drop it down when you're done do the same thing that way you're not getting a bunch of well stuff you don't want all over your hands and then right there of course is a light so if you do have to access it at night it is nice and easy to do so 
Go ahead and hop right in here. You can take a look. Cummins own in 5,500 watt generator. So you know, this will run anything and everything in the coach. That way, you know, if you need to uh, run the uh, refrigerator AC, you can do that. The other cool thing about this coach is it does have auto gen start. Now you can set that auto gen start to several different things. You can have it be for uh, your batteries. If your batteries get too low, your generator will go ahead and kick on for you. You can have it for temperature. If it starts to get too hot, the uh, generator will automatically kick on your AC will turn on and bring it back down to temp. Because this has a residential refrigerator, which we'll see when we go inside, that is a huge deal. That way, even if you don't have shore power, that generator will auto start for you, making sure that nothing in your refrigerator spoils. Have another dump there. As we move right over here, this of course has our batteries as well as uh, right there is the uh, hydraulic pump. So another cool thing that Challenger does, if you notice, each one of these hydraulic cables has a color on it. So it is color coordinated. When you look it up, if you have to look in the manual or if you have to call the self, uh, self help service, which is absolutely phenomenal as well, it's nice and easy to go ahead and troubleshoot because they went ahead and color coded everything for you so you know exactly uh, where everything is going. So very cool. Now as we take a look under here, open this guy up once again you can see right here nice big pass through the other thing I want to show you a couple things in here uh, one this is your inverter 1800 watt inverter right there the other is this guy right here this is really cool um, so well, two things here this is your auto gen start as I mentioned but this this controls your slide so uh, if you ever do have an issue with this slide which you know is very rare and unfortunate but things do happen it is a mechanical piece so if anything were to happen it's nice and easy Challenger puts this box here all you have to do is pop these two plugs right here out that will release the brakes on the slide at that point you know you can get a guy or two maybe three uh, you know or if you're strong do it by yourself whatever but go ahead and push these in and then you can put these back on and that will lock the slide in place that way you're not going to get stranded out in the middle of nowhere with your slides open you have a way to go ahead and get those slides in and it's quite easy to do so as we open up the last compartment, once again, this is that same pass through you saw before, nice big storage. So a ton of extra storage on the outside of this coach. All right, folks, I know it's gorgeous out here. I'm sure you're excited to go inside. So let's go take a look. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Thor Challenger 37 KT. This particular model is in the all new cityscape interior. Uh, let's start right over here. So as I mentioned, as a cityscape interior, also has the Milan cherry wood, which is this beautiful dark wood. If you haven't been inside a Challenger and seen the wood, you have to get in here. They, uh, Thor actually took the wood from their higher end diesel coaches, put it in the Challenger, it is top of the line, I'm telling you, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, but this, of course, is the entertainment center in this coach. You have your TV right here, sound bar down below for superior sound quality. And then right down here is the fireplace. So the fireplace not only does a great job of uh, taking the chill off in this space, which it definitely does, but you have to remember, this is electric. So the big advantage of that, if you're plugged in, you know, plugged into shore power, you don't have to pay electric. This is essentially free heat. And this space can shut off. Which I'll show you a little bit later has a couple doors and close off so it does a great job of heating up this room and on top of that has a great look to it as well then right up top here you have the frosted glass this opens up you can see the extra storage right in there additional storage over here and then the cool thing if you take a look right in there you can see you do have a couple USB ports in there so if you want to plug in and charge your cell phones you can put them right in there that way they're tucked away and not cluttering up the countertops and we'll open this up. You can see adjustable shelving right there. You go ahead and adjust that to the height that you want. And then additional storage down below. Right there, you can take a look at the DVD player. And again, a, a adjustable shelf here too. So we make our way around to the front. We can take a look at the cab. You do have uh, flex steel seats for both passenger and driver. Both of them do swivel around. Uh, if you take a look at some of the features up front, you can see great cup holder space. You have driver, passenger right here in the center. You have four e uh, non-slip mat there as well. Back over here, you can see the auto level. Touch of a button, go ahead and level everything out. And then, you know, if you take a look, you can see all of your controls. Uh, you have your fog lights and everything right 
right up there. Of course, you know, standard Ford steering wheel here with cruise control. Then right over here is your generator start, your uh, cab lights there, as well as the fans in front. Also, you have slow rise shades throughout the roller shades, which work phenomenally. The front one here is a power shade too. Then if you see right up top here, additional storage, all three of these are self-supported hinges, so great access right there. If you move back down right here in the center, this is your radio as well as backup camera. This is touch screen, which is great. Of course, all your heating controls will be right over here. You can see the several vents throughout. And this is really neat too, as the passenger is sitting here and they're riding, uh, you know, if you need to do any kind of work or you wanna have a snack, this actually lifts right up. So it's a great table. They can sit here, work on a laptop, eat a meal. And if they are working, you'll notice right down here is a plug-in. So they can go ahead and plug in that laptop or tablet uh, and it can charge while you're going down the road. The other neat thing about this, and you may not even have noticed, but if you look right up top, right up here is a bed. Uh, this is a drop down, it's absolutely phenomenal, 500 pound weight limit on here. Let me go ahead and show you how easy that is real quick. So right above the door here as you come in, you'll see a uh, cabinet. This side has storage, this side right here is where your bed control is. You just turn the key to the on position, push the lower button, and if you take a look right behind me, you'll see it go ahead and lower down. And there you have it. In a couple seconds, the bed go ahead and lowers right down. You can see the net around the front here. Uh, the ladder for it, actually, there's a spot underneath near pass-through. It has a little uh, holder. You can go ahead and clip that ladder in. Of course, if you want to use it, just take it out. You can put it right up here to climb on up. It does have a mattress already up here. Uh, you can see it has a nice big lip, so that way the mattress can sit in here. Yeah, but I'm telling you, this is absolutely phenomenal. Even if you, know, you don't plan on using this, this really helps on resale because Class A's aren't known for sleep a lot of people and this really helps uh, buck that trend now if you don't want to have additional guests you of course don't have to let anyone know this drops down because as I as I showed you in the beginning it just tucks right away but let's move right over here uh, so here's your theater seating both of these recline which is great so you can kick your feet up relax have a perfect view with the TV some cup holders right here in the center this also lifts up for a, a location for your remotes now you have seat belts in each one of these two so you can have legal riders which is a very comfortable way to ride and as I mentioned cup holders there cup holders up behind as well you can see behind me I went ahead and put down the day screen both of the it does have both a day and night roller shade on there uh, and then additional storage right up here across the top speakers underneath so that way you know as you're sitting here you can get again that you know theater like experience go ahead and jam out um, and then right over here last thing I want to show you so this is really cool this is a part I love about the KT you know, if you're looking for something with some separation, you know, kind of have that residential feel, or maybe you're taking, uh, you know, your mother with you or another couple. The cool thing about this is you can go ahead and just close this whole space right off. Just shut these doors just like that. You have your own room up here. So, you know, you have the bed up top, you have the seats here, you have the bedroom in the back. So it creates two separate spaces. The last thing I do want to talk about before we head out that I forgot to mention, if you take a look right up here, a couple of quick things. One right here is a location for a table. So when these seats do spin around and of course the bed is up, you can eat a meal there, play cards, whatever you want to do. Lastly, this right here, this is something really cool that Challenger did. They use a fiberglass shroud there um, and then that will be insulated. So one that's going to help, you know, if you do step over it, you'll see a lot of times, uh, you know, your driver tends to kick this right here, which on carpet really scuffs it up. This is nice and easy to clean. The other thing, it does a great job of uh, helping house that noise, keep that noise out because of the extra insulation in there. All right, that'll wrap it up for the front half. Let's head on back. We'll take a look at the kitchen. So as we make our way into the kitchen, I want to show you this right here. Go ahead and open this up for you. So this is a very versatile space. It starts as a pantry, as you can see right now, adjustable shelf right here up top. Then you have three fully finished drawers, as well as this uh, pull-out drawer right here underneath. However, if you do want washer and dryer in this coach, you can remove this, take this back panel here out, and behind that is washer dryer prep. So you can go ahead and put your stackable washer and dryer right there. Let's take a look at the rest of the kitchen here. Beautiful stainless steel residential whirlpool refrigerator. One of my favorite parts is this right here has the ice maker right on the outside, water dispenser. So that makes it nice and easy to make your beverages right there. 
you can open it up see you know this side right here of course is a fridge other side is the freezer ice maker there up top but I love having the residential refrigerator you have a ton of room you know feels like you're at home and as I mentioned it does have auto gen start so even though this runs off a lot uh, the batteries and the inverter when those batteries get low you can set that Jenny to automatically kick on if you're plugged into shore power it doesn't really matter because it'll run off shore power so you'll be good there then as we move further into the kitchen again another whirlpool appliance residential appliances stainless steel convection microwave so you can see how big uh, of a space you have there of course you can take this out if you have larger items you want to put a Thanksgiving turkey in there go ahead uh, you know convection ovens are great they're faster than your standard oven they're easier to clean don't put out the heat but just in case you do they do give you a standard oven as well and I'll show you that in just a moment well, let's start out up top here uh, you can see right up there you have extra storage strut supported you know and God, same beautiful woodwork all throughout this kitchen I'm telling you it's gorgeous with the high gloss Milan cherry there you can see right over here an adjustable shelf so again you know giving you that versatility big storage area right there great pantry space and then same thing continuing on over here to move down a little bit you'll see the solid surface countertops uh, great countertop space in here they really fully utilize giving you the maximum prep space by uh, giving you the cooktop cover as well as the sink top covers right here as well also this gorgeous backsplash right there uh, a window here with your slow uh, slow rise roller shade you know it's not your standard little Venetian blind it's a nice beautiful slow rise shade mirror in the back right here too but I'll go ahead and lift this off for you. You can take a look there, three burner at wood cooktop. As I mentioned, you know, the covers, if you're not gonna use them, just makes a great prep space for you there. Uh, but at wood, the front one is high output, great flame control. And as I promised, there is your standard oven in case you wanna do some traditional baking. Then right underneath here, you can go ahead and open that drawer up and have extra storage there. Bank of three drawers right here. You can see full extension ball bearing drawers for all of your silverware. Additional storage right over here. And then as you can see, you have a trash can. This is on a pull out rack, so you can go ahead and pull that out, throw in there what you need and push it right back. Now, right here is their high-rise faucet. This uh, uh, does have this on here, which is great. So if you need to uh, you know, make it nice and easy to wash dishes, you can go ahead and pull the faucet right out there. Take the sink top covers off. You can see the undermount stainless steel sink double bowl, as I mentioned, makes it nice and easy to do dishes, especially with that pull out faucet. Go ahead and put that right back. And then uh, let's continue on back. One other thing that's cool, this right here. So not only do you have all that prep space, you have this extra little extension, this pops up. You have an outlet here. So if you wanna pop, the, uh, pop that up and plug in a blender, you can do that. You also have uh, electrical outlet right there as well. So if you need to plug in a coffee maker or something like that, you can go ahead and do so. Now across the way, this is part of a really large slide. It starts right here uh, at our kitchen table, it goes all the way back uh, to the back of the coach into the bedroom. But you'll see here's a huge window. This is gorgeous. You know, it gives you a great view out to the campsite. Again, big roller shade on there. Love the cityscape interior. I think it looks really nice with the Milan cherry personally. Uh, great light fixture right up top. Of course, you have two chairs here as you can see. However, it does come with uh, two foldable chairs as well so uh, you can take this table out it's currently locked down for travel but you can take this table out move it out put four chairs here all around it has leaf so it can go ahead and pop up and again the table matches the woodwork so it just blends in seamlessly absolutely gorgeous there then as you take a look back here, uh, you have this little countertop space, an extra plug in there. So, you know, if you wanna put a coffee maker there, you can do that or, you know, again, blender, whatever else you want. Uh, TV right up top here too. So maybe you want uh, like a DVD player, other auxiliary component there, you can do that as well. And then right here in the corner, you have additional storage. Now one last thing to show you right here is your main control panel with your generator start, tank monitoring panels there, slide controls, water heater there as well, thermostat. Now this thermostat will control the front AC. There is another one in the bedroom for the uh, second rear AC. Now this, I don't have the remote currently in there, but this is the rapid camp system. This is really neat. It's a remote you can take outside with you or, or leave it in here either way. Uh, but this will allow you to control your slides. You can turn your generator on and off. You control your awning lights. Uh, you control the auto level, everything right from 
from a remote. So that way you can stand outside, you know, open your awning up, make sure you're not gonna hit a tree. Same thing with the slides, really neat system. But let's head on into the bathroom. We'll take a quick look at that. All right, so into the bathroom, you do have two entrances and exits. Uh, this one right here wasn't the main living area I just showed you. The other one, of course, will go into the bedroom. But let's go ahead and start off right down here. This is your porcelain foot flush lever toilet. You can see you have plenty of leg room all the way around. Uh, toilet paper holder already installed for you, so you don't have to guess where that is. And then right up top here, great additional storage. Personally, I'd put you know toilet paper, maybe some spray or something up there, whatever you want, but uh, just a great extra storage right up there. Then over here, can open this up for you. Excellent linen closet, plenty of room for towels, all of your other bathroom goodies. Then right down here is an additional pull out drawer. Neo angle shower in this unit, glass shower door on there, gives it that nice, uh, has that rain look on the glass. And then if you can see in here, plenty of space, shelving, uh, nice hand wand there, and a skylight up top. So it's in a ton of natural light during the day. It also gives you some extra added head, uh, head height in case you're a little bit taller. And then as we move over here, take a look at how big this countertop is. Gorgeous countertop, upgraded stainless steel bowl. So you have a really high quality bowl in here. You have the faucet there as well. Of course, a plug-in uh, in case you have to plug in a hair dryer. Uh, great storage down below. Take a look at that. A lot of times they don't give you much, but you do have good storage here. Uh, hand towel ring right there. And then huge mirrored medicine cabinet. There's a, a ton of great storage behind there as well. Of course, if you look up at the ceiling right there is your vent, so you can go ahead and vent out the moisture. All right, that'll wrap it up for the bathroom. Let's go take a look at the bedroom. The bedroom in the 37 KT does feature a king size bed. So plenty of space. You're not gonna have to worry about elbowing each other in the middle of the night. And not only do you have a large bed, but you also have huge storage underneath. You can see there are the foldable chairs I talked about, as well as the table that goes up front between the driver and passenger seats. You can see the headboard, beautiful leather headboard there. Uh, not only does that look great, but it's also very functional. It is padded, so if you want to sit up and read a book at night, you have that extra padding, as well as two LED lights that uh, shine right down so you can read. And if you want to listen to music, you have two speakers underneath the cabinetry as well. On one side there, you do have the thermostat, uh, which will control the rear AC. Both sides have hanging wardrobe space and then great storage all the way across the top. Now, if you take a look uh, right beneath the wardrobes, you will see a nightstand. Uh, you have great shelving space up top there. If you wanna have your beverage there at night, you know, glass of water. If you have to charge a cell phone, you have electrical outlets on both sides. And then uh, some additional storage underneath those as well. You have beautiful rear picture window here. As I mentioned, we were outside. So as you wake up, you can enjoy that view. Of course, you have the roller shades here too. So if you wanna sleep in, just close this guy right down. It'll stay nice and dark for you. Then if we take a look at the foot of the bed, this is part of that slide, as I mentioned earlier, the same part that has our uh, dining room table in it. And again, huge wardrobes here. Now you have wardrobes next to the beds, but you have large hanging wardrobes, a mirror on there as well, kind of a his and hers wardrobe here, which is great. TV smack dab in the center, so if you wanna watch a show before bed, you can do that. Storage on either side of that as well. Then again, another window right here, slow rise shade there. Uh, you can see here they have a couple of electrical outlets as well as some USB ports. So if you do want to use USB ports to charge your phone, you can do that too. Then underneath, four very large drawers. These are nice full extension drawers on here. You can see right there. And then you have drawers underneath the wardrobe there as well. Right here is a stereo, so this uh, will control the speakers here. Uh, so if you wanna to listen to music, that will actually control the speakers right outside. All right, folks, that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, again, this is the 2017 Challenger 37 KT. This is a phenomenal floor plan. You know, if you're looking for something that has kind of that room separation, that division, this is definitely the one. That front entertainment area is phenomenal. You have the TV with the uh, recliner straight across. You have the drop down bed for extra sleeping. Big kitchen countertop, especially the way they utilized uh, all the space with your sink top covers, the cooktop cover, the extension. You know, then you move your way back into the dining space and all the way back here into the bedroom, which again has a lot of storage here as well. This really is one you want to come take a look at. If you
you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those in the section below, or you can always give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, and I'll be happy to answer that way as well. If you do have particular questions on the specs of this unit, or if you're looking for the latest price and availability, I recommend you visit our website, which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.